I have put together a spreadsheet of over 50 gas powered scooters that I want to show you today. And the whole point of this, if you don't know how to use a spreadsheet very well, then this is gonna walk you through that. So hang tight here. This is Renee with Scooters for Newbies, and I am all about sharing the scooter love, and I'd love to see you on the road with your own scooter. But if you found it to be a little overwhelming in choosing a scooter, I have put together an entire guide, and that's at scootersfornewbies.com slash choose, and you can walk through each of the features uh, that the scooters offer, what they mean, and then at the bottom, there's a tool to help even more, and that's that spreadsheet. So let's dive into the spreadsheet. All right, so I've got a browser open and let's start typing in scooters for whoop, newbies com slash choose. And then that's going to bring us to a scooter guide, scooter choosing guide. All right, so here's the website. And I'm going to briefly skim through this, but this is literally a guide to help you decide on uh, the scooter that's going to work for you. So if by all means, please read through this. And if you find that you have questions when you're going through the spreadsheet itself, like all those different columns that we're gonna look at, they're all here at a high level. So if you wanna know what two stroke or four stroke means, um, it's here. And then, so we reach the use a spreadsheet to help you choose a scooter and we have a link and an image that we can click on. And when we do that, it's going to launch a Google Docs thing. So it might say working in this area or loading, but give it a minute, it will come up. And you'll see the different elements are uh, each in columns and we have each scooter is in a row and the little pieces that matter here. So you're gonna see a, an inverted triangle on some and then that means that those are opportunities to filter down. So we like two and four. Um, and then if you see this oil filter, since we're looking at scooters, uh, if you check on that, that means something is already being applied to it. And so for this one, it looks like everything under $2,000 is being selected. And then we've also got only 50 cc's here. So if you don't want to see just 50 cc's, we can always select all. That puts the check mark against everything that matches the MSRP. And then that's there. So it looks like it was a $2,300 limit really put on that MSRP. But you'll see that you're not even restricted if you have that, you know, to spend. That you can also go up above the 50 cc's, 50 cc's if you're interested. Um, I've also got some color coding. So the deeper the blue, the cheaper the scooter. So kind of visual representation on um, pricing. Same thing with the engine size. They're blue, and then once the 200 and stuff, they get into the reds. Um, and then same for these. So just kind of little indicators like this one, seat height. It's got the highest seat. Um, it's red, doesn't mean it's bad, <laughs> it just means it's different. Uh, same here with this, the tires, we got 16 inches that are really poking out because of this. And what I like to do though is find the things that matter to you, let's say it's the uh, fuel injection. Oh, wrong one. Uh, let's say I only want electronic and I, you know, so I click on carb to deselect it and then okay. Oh, and I'm only down to two scooter choices. So. Uh, I always I like to look at it in two to five and things really stand out as being different. But let's say this is exactly what I was looking for, that I want electronic, want, don't want to spend over two grand and I want to, you know, 50 cc here. Um, the Brio and their Urbano, all these variables, they're pretty dang close, if not the same. So at this point, I'd be comfortable going down and just looking at those scooters and picking by looks and color, of course. Uh, so anyway, if you want to clear things again, you can just go and select all and kind of keep going down the line until you get what you want. Um, the other option you do have is um, you can sort A to Z if that matters to you or if you just want certain brands, what have you. Um, you can filter by color on those that have colors. They are gradiated, so there's like different little shades. It's not as helpful to go by color uh, because of the way I've got it shaded. Um, but it is an option for you, but you can sort it by color. So it's like right now, the whole thing is sorted on the size of the engine. But if you want it to sort by price, because that's really your driving factor, you can totally do that too. So easy peasy. There's a lot of stuff in here. All right. So that was the spreadsheet. Hopefully it was pretty simple. But if you find yourself with more questions, please leave me some comments below and I will make sure to answer the question. And if you find yourself looking for a feature that I didn't highlight in that spreadsheet that's important to you, please also comment below with that and I'll make sure I get it updated because I truly wanna make sure that this is a tool that people can use to choose the best scooter for them. I'm in that boat. I don't know if you've seen the other video and I'll link to it. Uh, the biggest mistake I made was picking the wrong scooter. So <laughs> I wanna make sure that that's not a problem that you end up with. So uh, be seen and be safe. Happy riding.